This video is part of a multi-part series on how to mine different coins on your PC at the same time. We're going to focus here on Monero, but if you'd like to check out how to mine other coins along with Monero, feel free to check those videos as well. Mining Monero on your CPU is very similar to that of mining Ethereum on the GPU. Just like with Ethereum, there are three basic steps to Monero mining setup. First, you need a wallet where you can receive all your mining revenue, and then a mining software, and finally, a bit of CPU tweaking in order to get the maximum performance out of your mining setup. So let's get st started with the wallet. There are many wallets for mining Monero, similar to that of mining Ethereum, but we're gonna go with the popular wallet. So this is the official Monero website. I'm just going to go to downloads and then we have a bunch of options, but I'm going to go with the GUI wallet so we can see what's really happening. Um, I'm not going to save this file because I already have it downloaded here. So I'm just going to hit cancel and close this up. So once you download the file, you can just open it up and go through the setup process. Accept and we'll leave everything the default because we're not looking to do any tweaking here. Once everything is installed, we'll open the wallet to create a new Monero wallet for us. So I'm not going to look at the readme file. So now we have the wallet installed. So if you just open it up. All right, going through the initial setup. We're going to go with the simple mode because all we're looking for is an address to receive our Monero revenue. So going with the simple mode, I understand. And again, as I said, we're going to create a new wallet, not import an existing one. And just call it my wallet. So the mnemonic is similar concept to that of the Ethereum mining, except it's a bit longer, but you should never reveal this to anyone, even though I'm doing it right now. Uh, but I'm, I plan on just discarding this wallet once we finish with the video. So never reveal your mnemonic to anyone. And then we need to give it a password. This is very similar to that of setting up MetaMask to get an Ethereum address and create wallet. So we enter the password and done. So now if you go to the receive section, you have an address. A slight difference with Ethereum and Monero is that you can create new addresses within the same wallet. Something you can't do with Ethereum I won't go into the details, but this has to do with the ring signatures that are adopted by Monero to keep privacy preserving ways to receive money. Anyway, we just need this address. Now, moving on to the next step, which is the mining software itself. Again, similar to that of Ethereum, we have a bunch of options to download uh, from when we are mining with uh, Monero. But I'm gonna pick with XMRig, which is a popular open source client for mining. So I'm just going to go to download and that's it. So when you hit download, there's a good chance your PC would warn you that this is a virus. Yes. Um, you have to allow download and that's it. Once you downloaded that, you can extract the zip file and which I've already done. So have it here. So if you just open it up, this is the structure you'll have now. Let's open up a command prompt because we're going to run this through the command prompt. One slight difference to that of Ethereum, you need to run this as an administrator. This is because the mining software sets up a flag within the CPU in order to get, get the maximum performance out of it. So you have to run it as an administrator. And then let's go to the place where we have our software available. So users, my username and desktop. And finally, XMB. It's not on the top folder, it's actually one level down. And there you have it. Now, for the command we need to use for mining, you can actually go back to the downloads page. And if you look at the bench, uh, wizard here, this will guide us through the whole command. This will guide us through all the things that we need to set and gives us a command. So we're going to mine with mine XMR. That's a popular pool, just giving, and we need the address. And as for the address, we go back here, copy our address, 
this is where we get all our mining revenue and the worker name i'm just going to call it my pc and yeah i'm in europe so that looks good for me and then go to the backends so you have an option to mine the cpu and gpu at the same time but because i'm already mining ethereum on the gpu i'm just going to go with the cpu mining alone and finally the donation this is how much of the mining revenue goes to the creator of the xm ring software so i'm just going to keep it to the minimum which is one percent and finally if you go to the result you'll have the command you can also have a config file but i'm just going to use the command line option here so copy and if you open this here you can paste it here and you can hit enter and that's it guys now you have one arrow mining working one different thing i want to talk about is right now what you're mining is with all the available cpu capacity if i try to do something else for this video recording today I'll have a hard time because all my CPU cycles are used up by this mining. So because I'm also doing ETH mining and I don't want to it to get affected, what I'm going to do is actually stop this and use this extra flag called, I'm just going to show you the flag, hyphen hyphen CPU max threads hint. What this does is to tell the software to not to try and use CPU resources under this, under the given percentage. So if I say 75%, so right previously, if you look at it, it was mining using 12 threads. That's because my PC has six cores and virtual, two virtual threads per core. So that's 12 threads total. So now I'm just gonna specify 75%. So if you look at it, now it's only mining with nine threads. This gives us an, a one and a half cores of bandwidth that we can work with for other tasks such as ethereum mining or other types of tasks that you're doing so i'm just going to go with 75 percent for now but you can work with what percentages work best for you so now the mining is happening now that we have everything working let's move on to the last step which is cpu tweaking this is a bit of squeezing more juice out of your mining setup so the software to do this we have done this for ethereum as well and what we were doing was we were clocking the GPU parameters and we're going to do the same with the CPU. And the software to do this is called AMD Ryzen Master. It's not going to be the same for you because I have an AMD CPU, I'm going to use AMD Ryzen Master. But if you have an Intel CPU, look for an appropriate tool that lets you change the clock parameters of your PC, of your CPU. So, you can just go to the official website and download this. But I've already downloaded and set this up. Just follow the default instructions. Now, let's open up AMD Ryzen Master. This is going to take a few seconds, so let's just give it some time. There we have it. I'm just going to accept the warning. What we have is a basic interface where you can clock the CPU, change the CPU clock speed, and then the voltage that goes to the CPU. In my case, I've actually underclocked my CPU a little bit. That's because um, when I overclock my CPU, it consumes more power. And then the marginal increase in the hash power I get from overclocking is actually diminishing returns. Not only is it diminishing returns, it's taking out some of my mining revenue because the increased power consumption would cost me more in electricity bills than the hash power would pay me in mining revenue. So find out values which work best for you. It doesn't always have to be overclocking everything to the maximum. And when if you are overclocking or under undervolting, uh, make sure that you do this carefully because your PC might crash a few times when you're doing this. So test out different values and reset them and then recheck until you arrive something that's giving a good balance of power consumption and the hash rate. So these are the values that work best for my CPU. Feel free to check online or just fiddle with them until you find values that work best for you. And that's it guys. Once you apply all those, which I have done from the beginning, you will have your CPU mining Monero and GPU mining Ethereum at the same time. One last thing I want to show before we go off is similar to Ethereum, uh, we are using MineXMR. Uh, in a pool right 
So the pool you're mining is mine XMR. So once you hit start mining, you can also monitor your mining revenue. So if you can just go to the dashboard and enter the address, you can see how your mining is working. You can see that the pool is seeing about 5,500 kilo hashes per second from your worker. And then you have no revenue yet uh, because you're still in the very early stages. You can see how, how many workers are doing the job and then what's my hash rate across weeks, days, and months. So this is quite nice to look at when you're not around, uh, similar to the dashboard we have with Ethermine for Ethereum. And that's everything, guys. Now you have both mining working at the same time. And if you like to also mine on the storage memory, uh, on the free storage you have, check out my next video on that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.